Today I want to go over something that affects every aspect of our lives, and that's finding your voice. Now, I'm not talking about just being heard or standing up for yourself. This is much deeper than that. It's about how you communicate with others and how you express yourself or how we express ourselves. And just as important, that voice that's inside of our heads, because your voice ultimately is an expression of who you are. It's how you tell the world what really matters to you. There's a quote that I recently heard. I don't know who it's from, but I didn't come up with it. The quote is, finding your voice is having the confidence so that you know you matter, so that you can use your voice. And I find that extremely powerful because your voice represents who you are. It represents your identity, your experiences, and your beliefs. And when you know you matter, you don't hesitate to share that voice. So today I'm gonna to share with you how you can go all in or be all about finding your voice for both the outer world and within ourselves. Because it seems like we lose our voice and we get weaker over time. And it happens so slowly that we don't even realize that it is happening. One day we wake up and it just seems like it's gone. Because over the course of our lives, people are going to interject their opinions. People believe that they have the right to change you. People think that they can just show up in your life and out of the blue, they can mold you and get you to conform to their ideas or their desires. And I say it all the time, you don't owe the world shit, but the world doesn't owe you shit either. But in order to find your voice, you have to become a good listener. And I've said this multiple times, Hell, by now, those, those of you that have subscribed for a while are probably, probably getting sick of me saying that. And I know, I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive. Those of you that are just turning, tuning into the channel, you might be thinking, wait, how can listening actually help me find my voice? But the thing is, is when we learn how to listen, and I mean truly listen, we're giving ourselves a chance to learn or the opportunity to reflect. Think about a time that you're in a conversation. You're sitting there talking or the person that you're having the conversation with is sitting there talking, and you're already thinking about what you're going to say next. And we all do it, but when you listen, and I mean really listen, you pick up on details that you might have missed. And that time that you give yourself to absorb helps you craft a, a more meaningful and thoughtful experience. Because when you listen to understand, not just respond, you're able to see the world from somebody else's perspective. And this doesn't just improve how you communicate with others. It also makes your voice stronger because you're grounded in understanding. I can think of many times where, in my life, where I've been in a conversation with somebody, and instead of just instantly responding, I take a minute, or I took a minute, to fully digest what the conversation is all about and what the other person's perspective is. And it, to me, it's amazing how much more impactful your, your words and your voice can actually become because it's almost like you're growing in your mind before you speak, when you're able to internalize those thoughts and process them. So slow down, listen carefully, and speak with intention. That leads me to the next, the next point I wanna make. You need to be able to think before you speak. Because I can't stress enough how we live in a world that just moves so fast. Every time we turn around, we see instant gratification. Every time we need or we want something, it's right at our fingertips and it's almost gonna be there next day. And sometimes our conversations can feel like a race to get our point across. But good conversation is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And when you rush to speak, you might say things that you don't mean, or even worse yet, you might say things that you regret. But when you take that time to pause, think and reflect, and ultimately think before you speak, oh, you're giving yourself space to make sure that your thoughts align with your words. And this will give your, your voice more credibility because people will begin to realize that your voice and your words come from a place of, of compassion and consideration. So try this next time you're in a conversation. When somebody else finishes speaking, just wait a second or two or three before saying anything and internalize what the person had just said. Because those few seconds can make all the difference in the world as to how it comes out. You'll realize that the responses sound or come off or are more thoughtful and more considerate. Because when you slow down, it doesn't just help you. It also helps the listener or the receiver of your response. It also helps them become a better listener as well. Next, I want to talk about pronunciation. I know 
This might sound like a small detail, but it's one that can make all the world of difference, a drastic difference in the way that you are received or heard. And honestly, I struggle with this all the time. I, I stumble on my words, I stutter, and I do my best to, to not, and I do my best to pronounce or enunciate all of the words that I'm saying. All of my videos, I stumble on my words, and I'm okay with that, and you should be too. But in my humble opinion, I think that's why it's important to practice. Because the more you practice, the more confident you feel when you speak. Hello. And when you're confident in your speech, your voice will naturally carry more weight. We all have accents, and, and I, I personally feel that's a beautiful thing. Because accents, they reflect our culture, they reflect our background, and ultimately that's one of the things that makes us so unique. But there's a difference between having an accent and using unclear, lazy, or sloppy language. And if you want people to, to actually and legitimately understand you and hear you, you have to make sure that you're pronouncing your words clearly. Sometimes when I'm making these videos, I get nervous. My heart begins to elevate and getting my thoughts out of my head, getting these thoughts out of my head and putting them into my voice, they can be a real struggle. So I get nervous and I start tripping all over my words. Sometimes when I I'll accidentally misspeak and, and I don't find it until I've already actually posted the video, but it's, it's frustrating me because I know what I want to say. I know what I meant to say and I do my damnedest to think out my words before I say them. But sometimes between that heavy breathing and, and nerves, I just stumble and I struggle to say what, what I truly mean. And that's why when I decided to start making these videos and producing this type of content, I began by practicing, just putting my, my thoughts into words and, and talking to my camera. Eventually I pressed record and then I was able to upload. But I like, I call these videos sweat talk because I found that when I'm exercising and I get my heart rate elevated, it helps me get into a state of flow. When those endorphins are released in my mind, it makes it easier for me to speak. But unfortunately, I have to overcome the heavy breathing and the jumbled up words. So these are sweat talk because I'm sweating my ass off when I get out here and I start talking to my phone or my camera, ultimately talking to you. But when I started talking to myself out loud and, and practicing speaking to the camera, practice speaking to my phone, I could tell little by little I was getting better and better. I still have a real long ways to go and I know it. But the point is I'm practicing and I'm doing my best every day to become better and better. I know I'm not perfect. I know perfection doesn't, doesn't exist. But all of this practice, all this practice is definitely generating progress. In your own lives, you can take the time to work on it yourselves. You don't even have to have aspirations to, to do a YouTube video or YouTube channel, but it's a good thing. It's healthy to affirm to yourself with your actual voice, those positive things and that positive thinking. One of the things that I've found powerful for me is studying the great speakers that I admire, the speakers of the world that I look up to. Who are the speakers that you speak up to? What is it about them or their voice that captivates you? I'm not saying to copy them, but realize that they're on an element that you can learn from, or they are an element that you can learn from. What is it about their delivery that draws you in? Is it their, is it their tone, their pacing, their voice? Because when you actually study somebody, when you truly study them, you will be able to pick up on these, on these small attributes or details. And maybe it is one of those pauses that I was just speaking about, the way they, they think and absorb questions, or they, they pause at just the right moment to, to be able to emphasize, or how they change their inflection that keeps you engaged. You guys tell me all the time, you love it when, when my voice goes from, from a deeper, more serious tone to a higher pitched hello, when I see people on the trail. Notice those inflections. Study it in the people who you admire. These are small tools that you can use to better your voice. You can also pick a speech or a talk by somebody that you admire. You watch that, watch that video once for the, for the content and then watch it again. But the second time, begin to focus on, on how they speak and what it is exactly that you see. So if you're able to notice their tone, their body language, their rhythm, you can learn from all of that. And when you learn from these, these subtle cues, you're able to, to polish 
and hone in on your own voice, both internally and externally. So I've talked about how to find your voice in, in conversation and also in public speaking. But equally as important, maybe even more important, is your inner voice, that running commentary that's in your mind. It's the, it's the way that you talk to yourself when nobody's around. If that inner voice is constantly filled with, with negativity and doubt or self-criticism, it's, it's gonna be hard to find a strong voice or a confident outer voice. So we have to begin to figure out how to, how to change or begin working on that internal dialogue and start paying attention to how you talk to yourself. You have to realize if you're encouraging or strengthening or if you're constantly putting yourself down, down and limiting beliefs and doubt. Try this, try writing down some of those thoughts. Just random thoughts that you come up with throughout the day and do that, you can do that either on a piece of paper or in the notes on your phone. And once you do that, ask yourself, would, would I say this to a friend or a loved one? If the answer is no, then it's time to reframe those thoughts. Because when your inner voice, when you control your inner voice, your outer voice will naturally follow suit. And ultimately, we need to understand the power of our words. Because words can, they can lift people up, they can tear people down, and they can create doubt in every single one of us. And when you understand just how powerful you are, your, your words can be, you'll begin to choose them more wisely. Because ultimately, finding your voice isn't just what you say. It's, it's, it's the impact that those words can have. So you have to choose what you say. And that's regardless of whether you're talking to others or you're talking to yourself. Just recognize the power of those words and know that, that finding your voice is a journey. It's about way more than just being heard or making noise. It's about listening and thinking before you speak and making sure that your voice reflects who you truly are. Understand that the world does need your voice. And the more you work on cultivating it, the more you're going to unlock power. So if you've made it this far, do me a favor and go down in the comments section and write the word voice. Just that one word, voice. Let's make our voices heard. Let's tell the world we believe in our voice and ourselves. I wanna, I wanna thank you guys for your generosity. Those super thanks that you guys keep, man, you, you keep sending me, thank you. Thank you for all of the kindness that you guys have given me. Your support and the growth that this channel is experiencing is, it's absolutely unbelievable. But know and understand that you're capable as well. All you have to do is find your voice and you can do it too. With that, that's all I've got for today, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for showing up. I hope you guys are showing up for yourselves and I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful day. Peace.